My name is Steve Carroll. I've been in the media and entertainment business, live event business for 30, 35 years. My venture into professional wrestling started in the early 90s with a group commonly known as ECW, Extreme Championship Wrestling. I was the managing director of the company. At the time, we were one of three major nationally televised wrestling groups, WWF, WCW, and our organization, Extreme Championship Wrestling. What made us different was we were the wildest, craziest, most counterculture, and in many ways violent out of the box wrestling group that ever existed. We set a standard in professional wrestling for extreme behavior. The chairs, the tables, the jumping through, fire rings, the barbed wire matches. The UWF will be frankly starting at that the plateau and going to new heights of insanity. For many reasons we can't illustrate today where we're going to go, possibly some of them legal reasons, but we'll be creating a new level of out-of-the-box counterculture wrestling. What's up? It's your boy Uncle Murder, and I'm officially down with the Urban Wrestling Federation right now. You hear me? The new block is the ring. It's a man's game now. You heard? In the past, music, usually rock music or heavy metal, had an important part in professional wrestling. The music became synonymous with a particular wrestler that was his entrance music, and the audience knew that so-and-so was coming to the ring because they'd hear the soundtrack come over the loudspeaker in whatever arena was at play. Here, music is going to take a far more important and preeminent role in terms of the development of this UWF product. The artists themselves from the world of hip-hop will be part of the storyline and a character in the ring. They'll be the gang leaders or leaders in the hood of the actual urban-based wrestlers and storyline in the goings-on of the ring. The wrestler, he will be there, the audience can cheer on or boo the actual artist and his team of wrestlers along with liking the music that will be part of the storyline of the show. There's always been a great cross-promotion between music and wrestling. Even in my own history, working with Steve and ECW, we put out two great records and uh, one of them actually was up for a Grammy. We got a Grammy nomination for it. I've done work with the WWE, you know, put together a number of theme-based records that sold millions of copies. We're looking to do the same thing with the UWF. Get really close with the music industry, bring the artists in, promote them, have them promote us. It's going to be a great marriage. I'm Briscoe, represent 305 Opalaka. This ring and this money, it's ours. Come get it here on the Urban Wrestling Federation. The UWF is really going to be a singularly exclusive wrestling product. The fact that we will get urban hip hop artists involved with our product will greatly expand our audience development. They would be the ones coaching and directing the actual performing wrestlers to go attack this guy or attack that group. So really you're creating a double brand. The wrestling fan who happens to like hip hop music and the fan of certain artists or hip hop music in general that also is a wrestling fan. They both marry to each other and expand your attendance base, your product or service buying base, and your sponsorship and pay-per-view base. We think it was a really cool way to excite the wrestling marketplace. This is something y'all got to see. I promise you, you don't want to miss it.